Have you learnt about forces and their effects? Can you remember what a force is? Yes. Forces can change the shape of objects, make objects move, change the direction, speed up, slow down or stop a moving object. Very good. Now tell me what is friction? Friction is a force that opposes motion. If everything comes to a stop, does it mean there is friction everywhere? Good question. Let's find out. When I push the box, it starts moving. After a while, it stops moving. Why is that so? I think it has something to do with friction. Friction or frictional force is a force that opposes motion when two surfaces are in contact. Have you ever noticed when we are washing the dishes they slip out of your hands? The soap and water reduce the friction between your hands and dishes, making it difficult for you to grip or hold on to them. Friction helps us to do many things in our daily lives. Without friction, life would be very difficult. Without friction, vehicles will not be able to slow down and stop. Friction between the ground and your shoes helps you to walk without slipping. It is difficult to walk on wet surface or ice because there is little friction between these surface and your shoes. Friction enables us to hold on to things without slipping. Imagine life without friction. Will you be able to do the following? Hold a pencil while writing with it. Strike a match. Tie shoelaces. No, we would not be able to do any of these things without friction. Rub your hands together quickly for one minute. How do your hands feel? Does your hands feel warm? Friction between your moving hands produces heat that warms up your hands. Early human beings started a fire by rubbing sticks quickly to produce fire. The heat produced by friction may be useful in starting fires and keeping us warm. However, the heat produced is not always useful. Friction between the moving parts of machines produces heat. If the machines become too hot, some parts can get damaged. Some of the energy used by machines to do work is wasted as heat. The drill bit of an electric drill gets hot after drilling due friction. Be careful not to touch the drill bit with your bare hands immediately after using it. Rub an eraser on a paper. Can you see the friction between eraser and the surface of paper cause the eraser to wear off? Friction causes wear and tear of shoe soles and tires too. The tread patterns on the soles of shoes and tires help grip on the surface of the ground. If the tread patterns are worn out, the shoes or tires cannot grip onto the ground well. They can slip when you use them. Friction can be useful but sometimes, too much of it is troublesome. Let's discuss some ways in which we can reduce frictions. One way to reduce friction is to lubricate moving parts with lubricants such as oil and wax. Lubricating a bicycle chain with oil reduces friction so that pedaling is smooth. Lubricating squeaky door hinges can help reducing friction and stop the squeaking. This brings us to the end of the video. If you have any queries you can write to us at thestudypod01 at gmail.com.